Oh, you came. Good. Want something to drink? With water? On the rocks? You don't have to be shy. It's on me. It's such a bizarre case, the HB serial killings. That being said, the facts are fairly straightforward. Pointing out a culprit can't be too hard. Do you already know? Terror. Who are they, really? Right. Uru. We know he killed at least three people. Jin Furoue, Chikara Horadori, Andes Komeji. But why did he kill them? What was his goal? That's right. The Nirvana Initiative. The loony plan to have humans reach Moksha. That's why Uru killed the three of them. We can put aside the little details for now. The most concerning aspect of the whole thing is the time difference. The left and right sides of the victims were found six years apart. Regarding the first victim, the facts are already in. Six years ago, on February 10th, Jin Furaway's body fell from the ceiling of Devita. And this year, Five days ago, also on the 10th, Uru Somizuki's left half was found at the stadium, not Jin's. Plastic surgery and complete organ transplants. It fooled the investigators into thinking they were the same person. But what about the other victims? Chikara, Komeji, Tokiko. How do you explain those three? You have good intuition. You might already know. Right. In other words... It's not like that. It's like this. This is the timeline that you actually experienced. The red and blue lines are intertwined, almost like DNA. You started on the red line from the top, and then followed the blue line, which led you to this point. You've traversed four X's. The left side is six years ago, and the right side is this year. To make things easier, we'll call the left side past, and the right side present. In other words, you came here. Jumping back and forth between past and present, a day at a time, all to end up here. Now do you understand? Chikara's right half was found the night of the 11th, in the past. His left half was found the next morning. Komeji's right half was found on the 13th. His left half was found the next morning at 6 a.m. Six years have passed, and now we're here. In the present, Tokiko's right half was found on February 12th. The next day, a little past midnight, her left half was found in the basement of Horidori Institute. Long story short, the left and right halves weren't found six years apart. They were all found soon after each other. Nothing supernatural here. Anyway, that's just my genius analysis. Oh, but I know what you're gonna say. There's still tons of things that can't be explained, right? Especially, who killed Uru and Tokiko? Jin, Chikara, Komeji. It was Terror, Uru, who sliced these three in half. But then Uru was killed in the present, February 10th. Tokiko's body was found after that. So who killed Uru and Tokiko? Well, I'm sure this mess will be cleared up soon. 
by Mizuki, her friend, and by you, Freya. So anyway, good luck with the rest of your investigation. I'll be cheering you on. Huh? Who was I just talking to? Maybe I've had a bit too much to drink. It's awfully cold tonight. Hey, about Kizzy. Are you sure she's okay? Don't worry. I made sure she's fine. So, that makes us sisters? We're not the same age. But we're like identical twins. We have almost the same genes. That's crazy. I'm a copy of you. Don't say it like that. But I'm your clone, right? Technically, yes. But our DNA isn't exactly the same. My genome was rearranged. Your DNA was modified on top of that. Which is why you don't have the symptoms I have. Basically, you're an upgrade. The perfect version of me. Don't say it like that. Like I told you, I want to know who did this to me. I know that Chikara was the mastermind, but I want solid proof. That's why I was investigating him and his institute. But then, out of the blue, he gets killed. That's why I started following the HB case. If you do, what you have seen and heard cannot be shared with anyone. If you do, I will kill her. I have an abundant amount of money. Even if I were to die, the assassins I've hired would still find her. I see. That's why you didn't talk about what happened six years ago. But I think it's okay to start talking now. Why? I was able to freeze all of Terror's hidden accounts. We don't need to worry about any assassins anymore. Iba, you don't remember anything from February six years ago, do you? I do not. My body was destroyed in the explosion at the cathedral. The Abyss communication network was also offline, so there was no backup taken. Yeah, the same as me. When I was six, you were born at Horadori Institute and sent here. I'm guessing they thought it was too difficult to raise you at the Institute. I remember the day you arrived like it was yesterday. You were still a baby. But the moment I saw you, I got this feeling. I started bawling my eyes out. The people at the facility didn't know we were related. Makes sense. They were told we were from two different places. But we are both named Mizuki and we looked really similar. So to make it easier, everyone started calling me Big Sis. They called you, Mizuki. They took me to Horadori Institute every so often for examinations. Well, 
I say examinations. I mean human experiments. I don't think you remember, but they did terrible things. I remember getting shots with needles as big as boba straws. My time with Horadori Institute ended when I was nine and you were three. It shut down and we were finally free. That's about the time you were adopted by the Okiura family. But me? Well, I told you about me, right? You were blind in one eye and had a heart condition. Right. So it was hard to find a family who would take me. Ultimately, it was Mr. Chieda, the chairman. So when you were nine, you were adopted by... The Chiedas. I spent the next six years there. Up until I was 15, I lived under the same roof as Kizuna. I see. That's why she called me Big Sis. If I revealed myself to you, you would want to know everything. In one way or another, you'd find out. You'd find out that your genes were spliced. That your real parents aren't Renju and Shoko. I didn't want you to end up like me. I wanted you to live a normal life. As normal as possible, anyway. Get a normal job, a normal husband, get married, start a family, live happily ever after. A life like that. But if I showed up, I would ruin all that. That's what I thought, at least. I see. But why didn't you tell me seven years ago in November? I was already well on my way to an abnormal life at that point. <laughs> Maybe that's true. You said something about an eccentric woman? Yeah. I was adopted by her. Do you mean... Shizue Kuranushi. Boss. Which is why my name is Mizuki Kuranushi now. You think that sounds kinda lame, huh? No, it's not that. You know how we're stronger than everybody else? Maybe she thought I'd come in handy. So she wanted to make you work for her. I don't know if that's the truth, but that's what she told me. Boss taught me how to fight. After she adopted me, she trained me hard every day. Six years ago, when I was 18, I was hired as a top secret member of Abyss. Boss wanted someone who she could rely on. Someone who would never betray her. She trusted me to handle the most sensitive situations. Basically, I'm like a ninja. Well, a kunoichi. Which is why my existence at Abyss had been hidden. The only people who know are Boss, Pewter, and Ryuki. Ryuki? Why? I wonder... By the way, I'm curious. Why were we given the same name? I don't know. Maybe they didn't really care about the name. But wouldn't that make it harder to tell us apart at the Institute? Ah, uh, I don't think they had any trouble. We had code names at Horadori Institute. I was Mouse, and you were Rabbit. And you remember what they called us at Iowan, right? You were Big Sis, and I was Mizuki. Yeah. Is that what I called you? No. You were still little. You couldn't talk much. You just called me Bibi. Bibi? Yeah. Bibi, huh? Anyway, we've already spent enough time here. We shouldn't be wasting time like this. Good point. There's still tons we don't know about the HB case. Follow me. I want to show you something. Huh? What is it? Oh, no. It's nothing. Let's go, BB. Just relax. I can't just relax! What is this corpse doing here? And why are Kizzy and Leon here? Oh! And most importantly... Who the hell is this?! What? Isn't it obvious? Wait. You're the 
that stupid porno mag collecting old man? No. Yes. Why are you dressed like that? Where is Genny? What are you doing here? And one last thing. Where have you been the past six years? Why didn't you try to contact me? I'm sorry, Mizuki. Okay, I think I kind of get it. Six years ago, Date lost his memory when the ceiling collapsed on him. Then he got captured by terror, but managed to escape. And he's been wandering the Earth for the past six years. Five days ago, on the 10th, he heard the news about Jin's body being found. And finally got his memory back. That's right. I've known her for a long time. She's a former co-worker, from back when I was doing bad stuff. Back then, I used to call her Quartz. Hey, don't just blurt that out! Mizuki's name comes from Crystal. The kanji for Crystal can be read as Mizuki. Crystals are the solid form of silicon dioxide, a mineral. Most often recognized as Quartz. Wait, so you were in a Thieves Guild, baby? The snow isn't letting up. Don't change the subject. There's a reason I'm here with Kizzy. I got a call from my old pal Date. I asked him to unlock something for me. Are you talking about the freezer? No, I got that open on the 13th. It was a different lock this time. Anyway, that is when we met with Date and the woman he was with. The woman? I was there too. Why do you ask? No reason. It is currently 4.25 a.m. Daybreak is close. I suppose Big Sis has already told you everything. Big Sis and I lived in the same home for six years. But I never thought my Big Sis was my Big Sis's Big Sis. So confusing. Anyway, Mizuki Date, I will call you Little Big Sis from now on. And you, Mizuki Kuranushi, I will call you Big Big Sis. Still. Just as confusing. I am a little embarrassed to admit this, but... Leon and I plan to elope. What? May I ask why? Gizzy's father won't accept me. He threatened to send Leon to prison if he continued to see me. And that's when I suggested that we run off together. And I agreed. So you two... Yeah. They're both on the run for love. But we don't know exactly where we want to go yet. Right. We need some more time to think about it. It is snowing outside, but do not worry about us. My heart is burning strong. I have told him that I am safe and sound. Okay. Well, I'm glad you weren't kidnapped. I am so sorry that I worried you. Yeah, I'm sorry about all this, you guys. I don't know. Not here. It's fine. I know where he is. Don't you have an idea too? Let's talk about it later. Trust me, if I explain it now, it'll only confuse you. What? Do you have more insults to hurl at me for missing six years of your life? No, it's not that. Maybe she just wanted to hear you say, Mizuki, you've grown so much, or something emotional like that. No, not that either. Ah, right. For you, it's been six years. For me, it's different. I've been back for four days dressed like this. I've been watching you guys the whole time, so I don't really have anything sappy to say. 
I told you it's not that. I'm home. Welcome back. Is that what you wanted to hear? All right, okay. Let me try this again. Mizuki? I'm home. Welcome back, Date. That's not what I wanted to say. I threw away all your porno mags. No! I know that Horidori Institute and Nyes are both caught up in the HB case. Gen was created at the Institute, and he was acquaintances with Tokiko. So, by borrowing his mask, I could snoop on Tokiko and other members of Horidori Institute. But why do you still look like that here? Horidori Institute and Nyes people come here all the time. Imitating Gen makes it easier to eavesdrop on them. I'm gonna be honest, this has gotten way out of hand. I can't do this on my own. We need to work together to stop their plan. Their plan? Yeah, the Nirvana Initiative. So first, I contacted Mizuki Kuranushi. Date and I met six years ago. He knew how to get a hold of me. I shared everything I had, then told her to find you, Mizuki. To help stop them? Basically. Okay, I'll ask again. What's the deal with the corpse? Why is it in the freezer? It's better that you see for yourself. Let me just show you. Another corpse? No, not one more. Not one at all. It's half. So, you finished reading the file? Yeah. Now do you understand? Now you know whose left half is in the freezer. Jin. Jin Furue. That's what he really looks like. And this body? Uru Somazuki. Terror. He murdered three people six years ago. Jin, Chikara, and Andy's Komeji. This box. I wanted to ask Shoma about the genetic experiments, so I visited him. And I looked like Gen, so it didn't raise any concerns. He told me a lot. About his body and his older sister. And about the hidden safe. That's what we came here for. Wait, Shoma has an older sister? Yeah. You know her well. Kizuna and Iris' friend. A mermaid at Sunfish Pocket. A mame doi. Really? Only a few hours ago, around 1 a.m. I asked Leon to open the door to the staircase. So the lock you mentioned earlier. That's right. The lock to the staircase door. That's when I asked them about their plans to run away together. Then the four of us headed down the stairs. Leon carried Kizuna down. And that's when we found the corpse on the ritual platform. I used Marco's x-ray function. Marco? The name of my AI ball in my left eye. He's pretty shy. He doesn't talk much. Unlike someone else I know. Excuse me, are you talking about me? Mm-hmm. I know Iba really well. We were partners six years ago. When I was hired at Abyss, I was supposed to get Marco transplanted into my left eye. But he wasn't finished yet. So instead, I got Iba. But... Aiba and Date. Yeah, Aiba and Date were kind of fighting at the time. And I needed to see if I was compatible with an AI ball at all, so... I see. I apologize. I do not remember anything from back then. Because of the explosion, right? Yes. 
it's kind of sad. I made so many memories with you, Iva. What's this? There's some kind of device in there. It appears to be a jet like nozzle device. Hmm. I can't really say anything more than what's in the file. Uru Somazuki. He's the child that was kidnapped from Ion when he was six. It was Chikara and Tokiko who took him. They wanted to make him Jin Furoe's donor. So for over a decade, they did surgery after surgery, giving more and more of Uru to Jin. Half of his face, too. The skin he lost was replaced by an artificial skin made of carbon chitin. Half his face was transplanted onto Jin's as well. Right. And it was only half because Jin had a percent-shaped birthmark on the left side of his face. A holy symbol for the Order of Percent. It was considered sacred. And Chikara, being a devoted follower, couldn't get himself to rip that skin off. Which is why the left half of Jin's face was left untouched. And after all those transplants, Jin's body ended up being cut in half. Six years later, February of this year, Uru's body was cut in half. So what was discovered was Jin's right half and Uru's left half. Jin and Uru are essentially mirror images of one another. So when the police were identifying Uru's body, they got their DNA sample to compare against from Jin's organs. And because those were originally taken from Uru, it naturally follows that they match. So that's why... That is the mistake that caused investigators to believe that they were the same person. Um... Well, you see, I, I was so preoccupied with my work. No, it was because you tried watching VR porn while Iva was still in your left eye. That does sound like something that would make me very angry. I told you a million times, it was just a watermelon splitting video. They're not going far away, are they? They should be fine. They said they were gonna think hard about where to go. That outfit was so hard to move in, with the wireframe and all the stuffing. I don't need to explain it, you should already know. Jin Furoe. The child of Tokiko and Chikara. He was born with a rare and complicated disease. It caused inoperable tumors to grow in the right half of his body. Jin might have had it worst of all. He got his first transplant when he was really young. I don't think he wanted to take organs from Uru. Remember what it said in Uru's diary? He said he wanted to apologize. I think he is referring to Jin. So you think the transplant was done against Jin's will? I'm not positive, but that's just the feeling I get. I've been wondering, six years ago, why did Uru cut the bodies in half? That was for the Nirvana Initiative, right? Yeah, but what does that have to do with the plan? And speaking of, is the Nirvana Initiative still happening? I mean, after all, Terror's dead. Right, the Mastermind is dead. But you saw it on the night of the 13th, on the rooftop of Misaton. That was terror. It was definitely Uru's voice, but Uru should have been dead. Perhaps his voice was recorded. Either way, the rehearsal happened even after terror died, which means the main event will likely still happen as well. Yeah, it's safe to assume it will proceed as planned. But I still don't understand the full scope of the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We are completely in the dark. Why don't you ask the culprit? Yeah, good idea. Hey Uru, what's up with your plan, you asshole? No, that's not what I meant. There are other culprits. Whoever killed Uru and Tokiko. You believe they might know something about the Nirvana Initiative? I don't know for sure, but they at least might have some clues.
We don't have enough information yet. Looks like we're gonna need some extra help. Help? Over here. Come with me. There's nothing over here. You would think that, right? But check this out. Open Sesame! Marco, please. What is this? Do you like it? Erotic, isn't it? How is this in any way erotic? Much more erotic than watermelon splitting. Let's get going. Y yeah. What? What does this mean? It means exactly what you see. There are two cathedrals? That's right. Mizuki, look. Ryuki. I'm here too. Tama. How is Ryuki doing? Terrible. It was a bad idea to show him this place. He's been like this for hours. Do you hate Ryuki? Of course I do. I want to shove a pipe in his mouth and stir up his organs. Six years ago, he... It made my heart condition worse. It affected my work. I can't investigate properly if I have to go to the hospital all the time. But when I heard you recently joined Abyss, I shadowed you. And February 10th, when you went to the stadium, I got there before you and found the corpse. At the time, I had no clue it was Uru's left half, but I knew it had to do with the HB case from six years ago. I told you before that the one thing I wanted was for you to live a normal life. I couldn't let you get caught up in this case. I had to stop you. That's why... I see. You shot at Mizuki to dissuade her from finding the corpse. So she eloped, huh? It had nothing to do with the video. It was just Ryuki's active imagination. Date called me. Yeah, I told him to head over to the other cathedral. Does that mean he saw Uru's corpse in Tokiko's file? He did, yep. And then he came here through the hidden passage. He appears to at least be breathing. He might not be if there was rope and a branch in here. This has been eating at Ryuki for the past six years. He regretted what he did and blamed himself. He betrayed Date and shot Mizuki Kuranushi with stun bullets. <laughs> and what happened to Mizuki, Date, and Kizuna on top of that? Yeah, Terra detonated the bomb, but it was Ryuki who told Date about this place. If he never did, Kizuna and Mizuki wouldn't have been hurt. That's what's been plaguing him. He started drinking, which made the whole thing worse. I don't care if he feels bad about it. I still don't forgive him. Easy. He had his reasons. The person self-destruct program. If I activated it, I was overhauled completely during maintenance a few years back, and that function was deleted. That's when Ryuki opened up about what happened. Why didn't you share this earlier? I couldn't. 
Ryuki betrayed Abyss. He did something you can't come back from. I couldn't let anyone find out. So you protected him? It's the same reason I didn't upload the investigation data from six years ago. I made an oath. No matter what, I'll... I will protect Ryuki. But Ryuki himself could have informed us sooner. You should know why he didn't do that. Why he gave in to Terror's demands. He wanted to protect his loved ones. Wouldn't you do the same? Marco, can you send Iba the data? Got it. Opening it. It is a cross-section of the two cathedrals. You get it now? There's one on the east and one on the west. Terror blew up the west one. This one, right here. Which happens to be the same side Ryuki met Terror. What he called his execution chamber. On the east side was Uru's corpse and Tokiko's file. And that mysterious box. The one connected to the Nice building is the east one. You can take the elevator up to the president's office. Ryuki, you made a mistake. But lying around here in all your misery isn't going to fix anything. If you really regret what you did, solve this case. That's the only way to atone. Ryuki, I remember one night we went out drinking. You told me about your little brother. You always talk about him when you drink. You made him a promise, right? He said, I'll become a hero of justice. If I've fallen, I just need to get back up again. You used to say it all the time. It doesn't matter how many times you fall. As long as you have a body to do it, you climb back up again. Come on, Ryuki. Climb above the debris. It doesn't matter if you're pitiful. It doesn't matter if you show vulnerability. You struggle, you crawl, and you make it back to the top. That's what we do. That's what makes us human. Mr. Date. Everyone, I... I... <laughs> Ryuki, now's not the time to cry. Come climb up here. You mean... Don't get me wrong. I'll only forgive you after we solve this case. So... So, the first thing on the agenda is stopping the Nirvana Initiative. When? Where? How? We don't know anything about it. Hmm? We should know everything except where. Tama shared all her data, right? I did receive the information. I didn't give it a close look. Ryuki, can you tell us more about the Nirvana Initiative? Yeah. I'll explain everything in order. First, Terror, Uru, created a video. Why are you talking to me? It's Ryuki's turn, isn't it? Don't worry about me. You should talk to Ryuki. Uru created three videos. QR video, Nirvana Trial, and Nirvana X. The QR video was the first. 
The QR code on the signboard in Jin's body. That was a link to the video, right? Right. So it was first made public six years ago, on February 10th. The motive was... Really a small part of my plan. It's the plan I did. There were stories about people who went missing after watching the video, but... It's just a public legend. It was actually the second video that caused people to go missing. The Nirvana trial. It was uploaded on February 9th. Back when Uru was still alive. But what for? I think it was a beta version of Nirvana X, the third video. For testing purposes for the main event. Testing what? There was a code, like BATS 490, in the Nirvana trial video. That code led to the Eastern Cathedral. The coordinates led to the staircase. Yeah, but that door has tons of locks. Right, but the staircase had another code. By solving that, you could collect the numerous keys located all over the city. And those who did solve everything would be able to unlock the door to the Eastern Cathedral. Did you notice the box? Inside was a device that shot TC Purge. If you open the box, it triggers. When it enters the brain, it can even overwrite the DNA structure inside neurons. It can make you see things, make you dance. It makes you do weird things over and over. And it spreads in the air. If this virus gets out somehow, the human race is in for a rough trip. Can you picture it? The whole world going crazy, people everywhere doing it. The unpredictable things, crazy things, over and over. I'll be honest, I contracted TC Perch because I opened the box. But it's okay. Ryuki has developed a resistance to it, and he can't spread it either. Having said that, TC Purge is still a problem. Before the body develops a resistance, it can spread. Not to mention the neurons that are damaged can't be repaired. That's why Ryuki was acting weird. Is that what it looked like? When I was infected with TC Perch, my symptoms got worse. Disorientation, short-term memory loss, hallucinations. He's been seeing hallucinations for six years now. The mental trauma of what happened to his brother. Anyway, those who solved the code and opened the box contracted TC Purge, and as a result, they started acting strangely. And now, there are people dancing and riding in the streets, and a lot of suicides. I see. These people would have no motivation to return home. That's why so many people went missing. In other words, Uru's experiments were a success. He's dead now, but his plan is still alive. I'm guessing his lackeys are carrying out the plan now. To raise the curtain on the main event. I think I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna shoot the rocket somewhere. With TC Purge on the warhead. The rocket will explode. And the virus will spread? Yeah. Most likely, yes. Tons of people will get infected with TC Purge. It will grow in their bodies. And inevitably spread. From one person to another. If we do things that are beyond the comprehension of the designer, simultaneously, all around the world, bugs will start appearing everywhere. This will lead all mankind to reach Moksha, an emancipation from this fictional world. That is the Nirvana Initiative. Even if this Nirvana thing turns out to be bullshit, the virus itself is a problem. Right. I don't know if it will really cause glitches to appear or anything, but it'll be mass hysteria. There is already an uptick in suicides. The final video, Nirvana X, is already public. There's a seven-digit number, which is probably a time and a date. February 15th, 12 o'clock. Noon, today. Iba, what time is it now? 7.55 a.m. We barely have four hours left. Well... 
we don't know. My guess is the other letters that were in the video are some kind of code too. Maybe they point to a location. No. I converted the letters to numbers and checked the coordinates. It's an area in the Pacific Ocean. No land around. I don't think those coordinates are where the plan is happening. Then where could it be? Oh, I remember something Bibi said earlier. The culprit who killed Uru and Tokiko. Maybe they have a clue. Right. Well, in that case... There is... One person. I don't know if they're the culprit, but... They might have some valuable information. I didn't know where to find them before, but I've got a good idea now. That person... She's... Probably with Shoma. I understand. I'll tell you the truth. Big Sis! Amame! The corpse in the freezer at Brahmin. I'm the reason it's there. It's my fault. Six years ago, February 11th, my father called me here. Shoma wasn't here. Only my father and half a corpse. Denny didn't do anything wrong. I asked him to do it. And Shoma has nothing to do with this. He just found out too. Mame, that's not what we're here to ask. We're looking for the person who killed Terror and Tokiko. What? Terror is dead? You can tell us more about what you know at the station. Amame, will you come with us? No, no! I don't care what you say! You can't take Big Sis away! I agree with Shoma. I don't want you taking Amame away. What's the problem? We just want to talk. Wait, Amame, did you kill Terror and Tokiko? W what are you saying? Amame didn't kill anyone! Nothing. Can you not look around my room? It's kind of rude. <sighs> what are you looking at? Is he hiding something? You finished that robot, right? Oh, uh, yeah. You named it Roboji, huh? Yeah, it's the second one, like a second child, so I named him Roboji. He's much more powerful than before. It can hold so much more weight than the previous model. Wait a minute, who cares? Could you people just leave? We don't have much time. We need to do something about Shoma and Geni. What? The TC Purge? I told you already. I've developed a resistance to it. But your brain's neurons were still affected, right? Yeah, but those symptoms are being held in check with some special medicine. It's not mass-produced, so we can't give it to too many people, if that's what you're thinking. Did you get rid of the Cleone in the fridge? No! I won't let you! She's my sister! But we're not here to arrest Mame. The statute of limitations for abandoning a corpse is three years. She can't be prosecuted for hiding a body six years ago. But... I have a bad feeling. A bad feeling? If she's not guilty of anything, then that's all the more reason you can't take her. I'm not gonna let anyone drag her away. I already lost my dad. If you take Big Sis, I'm gonna... I'm... When I was in first grade... 
Big Sis gave me a radio-controlled toy. That's how I got into building things. She took me to robot expos and bought me books and parts. And she's working hard to save money to send me to college. These last six years have been hell. It was hard and painful. Sometimes I wanted to die, but she's always cheered me up and supported me. During all of the gene therapy... Big Sis always protected me. Now it's my turn to protect her. She's more important to me than my own life. So... So... If you're gonna take her, you're gonna have to kill me first! Shoma... <laughs> Do you hate Terror? The man who killed your father? <laughs> Terror's plan is still ongoing. The Nirvana Initiative? It's going to bring nice madness to the whole world. We need to talk to Mame in order to stop it. Do you want Terror to win? Don't you want to stop his plan? Destroy his ambitions? Isn't that the only way to get closure for your father's death? If you resent Terror, if you want revenge, please. We need your help, Shoma. Sorry. I can't let you do that. I came here to protect Amame. Date, if only you didn't find the body in the freezer. I'm trying to tell you we're not here to arrest anyone. But... I just can't let you... Ken, you're not making any sense. Hold on. Are you hiding something? Amame accepted every part of me. She saw me for who I was. It wasn't out of pity or sympathy. Her accepting me came naturally, like it was nothing. I've never met anyone like her, and I need to care for her the way she's cared for me. I promise to protect Amame, so I can't let you. Kenny. That's all the more reason, then. If you really have those feelings for her, if we do nothing, Terror will accomplish his mission. A terrible virus is going to spread. The world will devolve into chaos. No one will be safe. Not even Amame. No. So you need to help us. We need Mame's information to stop this plan. Amame must know something. Are you okay with ruining her future? Don't you want to protect her? Then please. No way. A thermite bomb. A what? You're right. It sure is. That little... Hey, Shoma. What is this? It's a bomb. A thermite bomb. I know that! Then why did you ask? Why is it here? I made it. You made it? Thermite reactions are pretty simple. You can make one easily using common products. But why did you make it? Well... To get revenge for my dad. I wanted to get terror. You were going to use this on him? Yeah, but I guess it has no use now. Terror is dead, right? God damn it! You just made the situation so much worse! Let's decide what to do about that later. Right. There is a more pressing issue. Mame... You know something important, don't you? Something about the Nirvana Initiative and Terror. Maybe something about Tokiko. That's what we're here to find out. Six years ago, on February 13th, you saw Terror, didn't you, Mame? At Studio Devita? What happened back then? What did he say? You still haven't told us. I looked into her head yesterday, but there was nothing on what happened at Devita. But in the Somnium, Mame said, Nirvana. 
collected. Genocide. Which would mean you know something about the Nirvana Initiative. Ryuki looked into Tokiko's head. Three days ago, on February 12th, he saw Tokiko threatening someone. I saw everything. If you don't do as I say, I'm sure you know where this is going. Could Tokiko have been threatening you, Amame? Um, well... I know this is a touchy subject, so let me say it. Terror killed Komeji, your father. It stands to reason that you absolutely despise Terror. Are you saying she killed him? That's ridiculous! Five days ago, on February 10th, did you meet with Tokiko? We don't have hard evidence, but a witness saw you. Anyway, Mami headed into Horadori Institute by herself. I saw another person follow her in right after. It was Tokiko. Tokiko Shigure, president of Nai's Japan. What are we going to do? The two of them aren't going to budge. <sighs> I really don't want to do this. But if we have to use force... No! You can't do this! Yeah, I won't let you take Big Sis! Yeti... Shoma... That's enough. Amame... Big Sis... It's okay. I'll come back right away. Promise. Are you sure? Yeah. You promise? I promise. Now, Mame. Let's go.